All right. So you you so, had something uh, to kind of, we got an email or a Facebook post that was. Oh yeah. So um, in the wake of the Supreme Court decision a few weeks ago. Um, basically the marriage equality. The one that destroyed the world? Yes, yeah. yes, the, the, uh, yeah, uh, the world is ending. Um, well, Texas got invaded too, so, yeah, so. By fire ants or yeah. by, you know? Jade Helm, yeah, mm. so, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> all that aside, um, yeah, so in the wake of the Supreme Court decision uh, on marriage equality, um, we got a message on our Facebook page from a guy saying, okay, now that, that the gays have, you know, equality, um, w now it's time for atheists to have equality. And his idea was that we need to get these laws that are still on the books in some of the states that, that say that um, you have to profess a belief in God in order to hold public office. That we need to get those stricken from the books because now that, you know, the gays have marriage equality, that's the next big fight. Um, I've had this conversation. Welcome to 50 years ago. <laughs> yes, I have this conversation with some um, deeply um, angry atheist at least twice a month, yeah. sometimes more often, who are, they're just outraged that this is still on the books and they can't understand how in the U.S., you know, in 2015, we could still have have it be the case that atheists can't run for public office in certain places. Yeah, and so. actually, this all relates to something that we're going to get to from one of the callers in a little bit because this, I think, qualifies as one of the bad arguments or, or bad issues that is, is, is potentially damaging yeah. our credibility. So what I want to say, again, I've talked about this so many times, but again, this, the same uh, process that basically made marriage equality the law of the land um, that's the same process that means that atheists can run for public office in any state, um, any locality. You cannot outlaw atheists running for public office, period. And that decision was handed down in 1961. Okay. Look up the Torcaso v. Watkins decision of 1961. Okay. Most of the people who are outraged about this were born sometime after 1961. So there has never been a time in their lifetime when they could not run for public office as an atheist. So please stop wasting time and energy and resources on this. It's done. Yeah, one of the things is, you know, like Herb Silverman had to fight this battle again because right. the, because there's general ignorance about this. It's, it's one of those things where, you know, he's going to run for office and there's this question of whether Turcasa v. Watkins actually applies and or somebody doesn't know about it and so they challenge his ability to run for office as an atheist and so uh, he won again. So it's not only did the Supreme Court you know, make a decision in 1961, but this has been tested again in other venues right. and we went. Now it's likely to be tested again, but it's only going to be tested because of ignorance. And I think what, what frustrates a lot of people is they say, yes, but it's still there. Yeah. It always will be, unless yeah. you completely rewrite the Constitution, which is an unbelievably difficult process, it will always say that. The most you could ever do is pass an amendment that makes that initial language in the state Constitution nullified, but you're probably not going to get that amendment passed because that's very difficult and this is an unpopular opinion, and it is, it is pointless because the Supreme Court's decision already renders that n nullified. So you're, you're wanting to do work that you're not likely to be able to be successful at to achieve something that was already achieved 54 years ago. Right. And, so. and you know, I, I, I go back to the, the, um, the law. It was actually um, a constitutional amendment in the state of Texas that banned um, gay marriage in Texas. So um, marriage between two people of the same sex was already banned by statute anyway. But the good Christians of Texas decided to waste the state's resources to get a constitutional amendment to like extra ban it or something. And so- That thing's been turbo banned, that's man. That's right. So we, we extra banned um, gay marriage. Only if you read the wording of the constitutional amendment they passed, they actually banned marriage yeah. in Texas. That's what happens uh, when you try to go for double secret probation. That's right. And, and so, that law, that amendment to the Constitution is still technically on the books, but you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. 
um, Texas is issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. It doesn't matter. And it's the same thing that's happening with atheists running for public office. You can run for public office. If somebody challenges you, in the last city council election in Austin, one of the people running for city council actually challenged another city council candidate saying, oh, he's an atheist and Texas law bans him from running for public office. You know what you do with that? You use that to point out the fact that they have just identified themselves as being someone who's uniquely unqualified to hold public office in this country because they don't understand anything about Supreme Court cases or case law in general. And why would you want somebody representing you, even on a city council, that is so ignorant about um, history and law? Not to mention the flat-out bigotry uh, exactly. of assuming oh. that you're not going to be qualified to do your job just because you don't and, believe in their magical friend. Oh, and by the way, the person that she accused of being atheist, he's actually Catholic. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, we had this happen. We had this happen in '04 or '08, I guess it was, um, in North Carolina, um, where two people running, one of yeah. them accused the other one of being an atheist, uh, who was a Sunday school teacher, by the way. Yeah. Uh, she just happened to meet with atheists uh, because she wasn't one of those uh, stupid and hateful individuals who right. thinks that it's irrelevant to talk to people you might disagree with. Yeah, on one issue. Yeah. Uh, it's frustrating. 